Yo, what is going on guys? Horcrux here and welcome to the channel. Hopefully you had a great Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you guys celebrate. Uh, I know I did. I got I got pretty fat. Notice the very casual intro this time. No green screen, no fancy angles. Uh, we just getting these videos out there, fellas. Happy Monday, by the way. So, what skill are we talking about, guys? But before we get into all that, a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members. There's been a lot more of you. Yo, guys, thank you, honestly. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for the support, especially through the holidays. If you want to become a YouTube member or a Patreon member, link is down in the description. If you're a YouTube member, you get shout outs on all my videos. You get our private Discord channel links and you know, custom emojis, all that fun stuff. Now, if you're a Patreon subscriber, you get access to Combat Critique, which I take whatever improvements you think you need in pvp just send me your clips and i'll give you my feedback on what you did right and what you did wrong and i also have a uh, a coaching thing that i do i actually have a couple sessions set up for this week it's like an hour-long session with me or just whenever i have time really just hit me up and we can spar do 1vx hit me up with some theory crafting builds you know whatever just anything that you might need help with you know maybe i can answer it so yeah there's tiers for that if you're interested uh if not, that's awesome. Just please like and sub on the video. That's, that's really all I ask. A nice like and sub and a comment. Anyway, so Horcrux has been rambling on for a couple of minutes now. So um, what skill am I talking about? Um, well, you see, I'm on my DK, so you probably already know what it is. So back in the day, this actually used to be the most overpowered skill in the entire game. And that's wings, because you, you could bounce every single projectile back at everyone you could infinitely have meteors up in the air bouncing them back and forth like freaking ping pong it was awesome i love those ic days but it's got nerfed and nerfed and nerfed and nerfed and now it's nerfed but people don't understand like it's stronger than ever especially with the new mythics that come out i'm gonna show you guys some clips i'm, I'm gonna break them down and kind of prove my point to why wings is one of the most op abilities in the entire game like not just on the magic of dragon knight but the entire game so let's kind of look at the morph i'm talking about so we're talking about dragon fire scale the beauty about dragon fire scale yes it doesn't remove uh immunities you know blah blah you have misform and stuff for that so dragon fire scale not only does it reduce all damage from projectiles by 50 percent that's overloads, that's frags, that's spectral bows, that's gonna hit you 12 and 13k, well now these are gonna hit you for like 6k. We hit you for, for, for wet noodles, alright? So, the tooltip here, uh, so let me show you how hard this tooltip is. The reason we really, really like Dragonfire Scale is that when you're hit with a projectile, you retaliate by launching a fiery orb at the attacker. That deals, uh, this actually goes up to 9100. So let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, it should be like 9,100. Yeah, so this actually goes up to 9,100 damage. This is the same amount of damage as a single Flames of Oblivion proc, and this can proc every half a second, all right? So the beauty of this is that when people are lie attacking you for, I don't know, like seven or 800, when the fireball hits them, if they're a complete Zergling, it's going to hit them, it's going to crit for like 5k, and it's going to heal you for like 1,000, right? But they're a pretty decent player, it's going to hit for around... 2k to 2500 right so you're actually gonna get healed for about 500 or so if you run the mythic we're gonna talk about so yes this doesn't heal you on its own dragon fire scale by itself is really good but when you pair it with ring of the pale order this shit starts to get really really nutty really quick so what i mean by this is so every time you deal damage right you heal yourself for 20 percent doesn't matter what the sword damage always run solo so ring the pill order is always my go-to especially when i'm rocking five light i have a really high crit chance so what i'm trying to say is that when you are running wings 50 percent damage mitigation off the top beautiful now when the fireball hits them a normal eye attack only hits you for like i said eight or nine hundred okay now, if a Zergan is hitting you with light attacks, right, this is going to crit them for about 4 or 5k. Alright, so what's 20% of 5,000? That's, that's like a 1,000. So, essentially, you are getting healed, you're out, you're getting healed more than their life, right? And this can go up with, like, major mending and major vitality and, you know, yada yada. There, there's a, a lot of ways to additionally bolster this effect. So, I want to show you guys some clips, and I don't think I would have lived these otherwise if I did not have wings. So, Future Josh or Horcrux shit. So future Horcrux, um, 
let's get into the next segment. I'm gonna kind of break down some of my clips and just kind of show you like how good this really is. Yo, welcome back guys. So without spoiling too much, this is actually going to be a, a 1VX I actually commentate on. Um, uh, break down this fight. Uh, a lot of a lot of stuff goes awry. I get stuck on this pill over here. I can't roll dodge away. It's absolutely terrible. But this is going to be a surefire way to kind of show off wings and ring the pill order in action. So right here, I we'll, we'll talk about this in the, the the combat breakdown. But I absolutely get demolished here by this stupid ass like cart or whatever on the ground. Like ugh. Okay, so right right here is a really fine example. So we just pop wings. And let's see if we can get some damage numbers. So this right here, 2500 right here, this is from a Wings product. This is not Flames of Oblivion. I mean, it might be Flames of Oblivion, but you know, regardless, Flames of Oblivion and the morph of these Wings hit for exactly the same. So right here in this instance, so we have this dude over here in the corner. Okay, he's getting hit with either Wings or Flames of Oblivion. It really doesn't matter. Each time it's hitting people, it's healing, healing me for 700. And this is just a skill. So not only is, you know, again, we're taking 50% less damage, but it's also healing us every single time we're getting light attack. So that's why you guys see me in my 1VXs and a lot of my my content, like my health is capped off like 100% of the time. Well, I try to keep it capped off. And this is why is because of Ring of the Pale Order and Wings alone, right? See if I can find a really good instance up here as well. Um, this this one VX does pick up quite a bit once we get out here in the open. So right here, we're hitting people for 1900, 1900. So you see the 538, 538, just from wings alone. And this is constant, guys. It is constant. Like right here, for example, we get so much he off healing right here. So within a second. Reading hit with 8, 16, 17. Uh, right before that, we get a 4k heal from, I I, th I think a Burning Ember spell off. So that's like 9,000 healing. So we're going to leap. We're going to do damage. That's another 746. So we're up to like, shit, I don't know. I lost kind of like 6k healing. So right here is 10k healing. Right there's another 500. There's another 300. Right? So, so we're already like 12k healing. And we've done nothing. We've done absolutely nothing besides running Ring of the Pell Order and Wings. That's it. I mean, I don't think we ever dots up, to be honest. Yeah, this dude, I mean, dots on whatsoever. So now is when it really shines. This just go goes to show you the power if you run Wings, like, with the right sets, right? So I, th th that's really all I wanted to show you in this clip. And we have one more I can just kind of justify here. Uh, this is a really good one, actually. So... Take a look at this one. Of course, I want to jump on the resources. And you get this healing back from anything, right? Like hitting guards and you know, with a ring of the pill order and wings. And look, just 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 look at all these damage numbers coming up. Like you 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 see the little ones, you know, that's obviously dot damage. But every time you see like a thousand, nine fifty, seven hundred and fifty, like you can go back and watch this if you want. I probably got like four or five, seven hundred and fifty ticks. There's four or five, like nine hundred ticks. And that's just from my wings like that you think i'm healing through all this damage just with rapid regeneration alone no no like yes rapid regeneration is a really good <laughs> so so sometimes when you're one vxing you just have to stretch your legs a little that's uh that's all this was guys okay that's all that was we're, we're not gonna talk about that but uh again this is why i love playing the dk look at all these debuffs on me it doesn't matter because I know each and every single one of the people in this fight is projectile based so I feel comfortable not only hopping right in the middle of resource but like I have no I have no line sight I have no cover it doesn't matter uh, I just get carried by wings and ring of the pale order so there's, there's 500 right there there's another 2300 2300 except gave her some okay right here yeah right here was a huge burst of healing so 200, 400, 800, 300. You guys get it, right? So right there was that 2k healing by just, just doing fuck all, right? But, okay, you guys get it. I think I've hit the uh, the nail on the head enough with this one. Again, this is another 1vx I will be featuring later at some point. So, yeah, hopefully you guys don't mind this uh, kind of barbaric way of going about uh, these videos. I, I really like it. It kind of makes everything flow together. But, uh, yeah.
Wings, guys, you have to try it on your DK. It is a phenomenal, phenomenal ability. It's actually pretty cheap to cost as well. It's not that hard to slot it on your bar. Like, I understand that, you know, it's, it all comes down to, like, your, your bar economy at the end of the day. But uh, this really does help your survivability. Um, is it a justifiable ability to have on your bar just by itself without ringing the pill order? Yeah. I mean, considering, like, half the classes are Stamina Blades of Glory, and yes, this does reduce the chlorine damage as well that's why i'm able to survive a lot of nightblade ganks in addition to iron blood I also have wings so i'm getting like 50 percent or 30 percent iron blood mitigation and like another you know 50 percent you know mitigation from from wings i mean it's not 80 percent it's probably like 65 percent you know after the, the diminishing returns after 50 percent but you know, whatever you guys get it so it's the little things guys like all the little passive healing that you get from ring of the pill order and, and dragon fire scale is amazing so this is by far one of my favorite abilities in the DK kit. I've tried out a lot of other abilities, but you, you just get so much bang for your buck. It only costs 3,200 Magicka. I suggest that you try to run it on your Magicka Dragonite, or or hell, like maybe even on your, your Stamina Dragonite. I don't know what you guys are doing out there. Y'all crazy as patch, right? So uh, hopefully you found today's video pretty awesome. Don't forget PvP Top 5, Discord. YouTube membership, Patreon, if you guys are interested in that, all the deets is down in the towel section below. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave you guys with uh, my outro, which is uh, playing right now. Peace.